The link down below has been replaced, but I still urge you to head to the link below, educate yourself, and consider supporting Ukraine financially. All the sources down there have been vetted. Your money will go to the right place. Yeah. Especially since I never could actually find those notes. Good plan. Impossible things don't just happen. We'll get to the truth one way or another. Uh. Uh, just relax. Even if everyone else suspects Lenny and Lynette, at least we will be supporting them from the stands. Besides, I doubt Farina understands any more about what happens than we do. <laughs> Thanks, That's Nadia. true. Well, we'll be going then. Best of luck to you. All right. Let's uh, go get sued into oblivion. Ah, finally, you're back. Well, how did your investigation go? Poorly. To be honest, you might be disappointed. No, no. We're already very grateful that you were willing to help. Well, now, don't you all look disappointed? Don't tell me that your investigation came up empty-handed. Can, can't have gone any better than yours did. Fucking bluey over there. That was to be expected, of course. The guilty can never produce proof of their innocence. You fucking blue, blue, fucking blue... Blue thing. Blue. But don't let that stop you. I shall be terribly disappointed should you, my most anticipated foe, concede so easily. You done? Since both parties are present, I declare that the trial regarding the magic show incident is now in session. That man is Firstly, fabulous. In order for the audience to understand the causes and results of the incident, could we please have Mr. Linney explain the trick? Yes, of course. I will explain while Lynette demonstrates on stage. Is that allowed? All the necessary items have been prepared. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Linney. In that case, I take your statement to be that you ran to and remained hidden within the magic box in the audience stands once the trick began and thus could not have committed the crime. Is this correct? He's never going to be able to perform this trick again. Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. In that case, I call upon the prosecution. Lady Farina, do you wish to refute his statement in any way? All right, what do you got? Of course I do. Allow me to take the first shot and break this case wide open. Mr. Lenny is clearly lying. Objection. There is no proof of that. There is no way you could have been in the box the whole time if you were to abduct Halsey and murder Cowell. In fact, I'd say you were hardly in that tunnel at all. She's got us there. That is simply your hypothesis based on the presumption that I'm guilty. That is true, though. Oh, is that so? And if I may ask, what did you hear while you were inside your box? I encourage you to consult the previous episode where we did a whole lot of that. <laughs> and other stupid noises. The roaring countdown of the crowd, of course. That's how I kept track of the time and built anticipation for the finale. Bad answer. And you didn't hear anything else at all? Nothing that might leave an impression of any kind. Hang on. Why is he specifically avoiding not talking about the broken flower vase? Or that loud thud? These two things might be connected. No, nothing. I see. But when the count reached 30 seconds or so, there was a thud. One so loud that I believe practically everyone heard it. She's got us there. Huh? Hey, hang on. Something's not right here. Yeah, wait a minute. 
What do you mean you didn't hear it? Lenny, uh, are you deaf? Yeah, I'm sure he could have heard a noise that loud from inside the box. If the plot twist is he's deaf, I'm going to go insane. I was right by the box and I definitely heard the thud. Or at the very least, hard of hearing. Oh, so that's Look how that thing scales. works. Could those mean... It probably represents the stance on the trail. <laughs> well then, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to use the words of the magician himself. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Indeed, it seems his alibi can also collapse in the blink of an eye. <laughs> I, I mean, I hate her, but I'm slowly going over to her side. Of course, I have armed myself to do far more than smash your alibi. Confidence cannot go unfounded, and my foundations are rock solid. That's a very nice argument, Miss Blue. Why don't you back it up with a source? Tell me, aren't you and Lynette actually from the House of the Hearth? Objection. Irrelevant. The House of the Hearth? Wait. Now I remember what the House of the Hearth is. They're Fatui? No wonder they did something like this. So the serial disappearances were the Fatui's doing. Now it all makes sense. I've got a feeling that what happened on stage probably wasn't just an accident. That's irrelevant. Our identities have nothing to do with what happened. I don't know, mates. It's not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, Lenny, it's not looking good for you. Indeed. Then perhaps you could tell us everything that happened during that one minute. Every single thing. Down to your the last priority detail. Is to prove yourself innocent after all. I'm sure there is little that needs to be kept secret now. Unless your script already has holes in it. <sighs> the Outlander is speechless. My oh my, don't they look flabbergasted. <laughs> now comes the infighting in Discord, I suppose. This was almost too easy. Why are you enjoying Good thing this? I made all those preparations. Seems the all-nighter I pulled last night is really paying off. Wait, what? Hey, Linny. What does she Why know that we don't? Order, order. Mr. Linny, allow me to reestablish the facts. Lady Farina has raised two points. First, when the thud was heard in the Opera House, you were neither in the box nor the tunnel. Second, you and Ms. Lynette are both members of the House of the Hearth. Are these claims true? <sighs> well? Actually, yeah, a child is here. Mm, and we know that child is still working with the Fatui to some extent. Please answer my question, Mr. Linney. I'm sorry. Yes, they're true, Your Honor. <sighs> this would have been really helpful. I knew it. This would have been really helpful to know before the trial, Linny. Well, that's it. We might as well move on to the sentencing already. What should we do now? Your Honor, permission to speak freely? Granted. My client has withheld some key information. My defense cannot proceed. In that case... What is your request? Brief adjournment. There are things that must be discussed. Is that really necessary? They're already as good as guilty. Uh, yeah, but I need to yell at them. The defendant deceived their own attorneys. What is there left to discuss? My fee? Order! <laughs> Order, I say! <laughs> your request is reasonable, and we shall adjourn. 
This trial will reconvene in one hour. One hour. All right, gotcha. <laughs> so you would stick to Mr. Lenny's defense even after knowing what you do now? You certainly have more professionalism than I thought. Yeah, well, regardless of... The facts, he probably didn't do it. In that case, my dear audience, let's allow the joy of victory to steep for a little while longer. <laughs> okay, you don't get to sound all fucking smug about it, you bitch. <sighs> I'm gonna punch these two in the face. Explain. Well, this is awkward. I didn't think the Hydro Archon would dig all that up. And yet here we are. Explain. I'm sorry, Traveler and Paimon. Explain. Yeah, sorry. Explain. Ugh. Paimon just knew where to start. We trusted you two. Soap trusted you, and I trusted you too. We based our entire reasoning on the assumption that you weren't bad guys. And you actually are bad guys? Not to set the wrong tone or anything, but Paimon's really mad! I am also very mad. I have half of my dad Clee burned this whole place down. I'm very sorry. I know you're angry, and reasonably so, but please, let me explain. I'm listening. I know you've clashed with the Vatui several times before. Understatement. I wouldn't be surprised if just hearing the word is enough to make you upset. But our organization is very, very large, and the Harbingers have very different personalities and goals. Yeah? Right now, we want to save people. As many as we can. That's right. I'm sure we're on the same page when it comes to this nation and the disaster that its people might face. I knew if it could weren't be a for our front. respective identities, we could become good friends. Could That's be a why front. I didn't wish to flat out lie to you, but chose to hide some details instead. Absolutely could be a front for the Fatui. Like, the last time they pulled something like this, they were giving weapons to the rebels in Inazuma. And we all saw how well that went. What's his face aged himself to death? The truth is very important, but being completely transparent about everything would see us spending more effort than we need to. How can we know this isn't another lie? Right. So, you be the judge. Heck, if I were you, I fear that I'd even struggle to trust me at this point. You met a Fatus who works as a magician, a trickster by trade. All by coincidence, too. Mm-hmm. But still, I'm asking you to trust me. I am no criminal. At least, not in this case. Sorry. Please forgive us. Well, you both say that, but... Where did you actually go while the trick was being performed? Right. Let's hear you! Of course. I'll answer any question you ask. Okay. We've been trying to find out how the Oratrice operates. We want to know why it has consciousness. Why can it deliver sentences accurately? During our investigations, we learned that the machine's core is beneath it. From that moment mm -hmm. on, Lynette and I have been designing this box swap trick with the objective of getting close to the core. This is more illegal is that than. What you need a whole minute? <laughs> That's right. In truth, the audience would take about 75 seconds to count down from 60, while I would only need 15 to get to the opposite box. <sighs> Lenny, you're digging yourself a deeper hole. I think trying to get close to this core would be more illegal than the murder. So, after jumping into the tunnel, I accessed the Opera House basement via the vent, and went to investigate the room in which the core is stored. That air vent was created during the construction of the tunnel specifically to execute this step. And what did you find out of morbid curiosity? Well, nothing. 
As soon as I reached that room and was about to investigate, I heard someone's voice. Which should have been impossible, of course. I was quite certain that I was the only one in the room. That voice seemed to recognize me and tried to speak to me. I chose to err on the side of caution and retreated the way I came. And the sun? On the way back, I saw the broken vase and the clothes on the ground. But the countdown was almost finished, so there wasn't time to give it any thought. After that, the homicide occurred just as you saw. We need to present this evidence. It might help. Well, that explains why you didn't hear the thud. Like, we can bring... We can bring forward this evidence and probably get you off the hook for that murder charge. Because of that prophecy I told you about, of course. We must know all we can about this nation's secrets in order to deal with that prophesized crisis. That's the only way we can save everyone. I don't think it's the only so, way. So, there you have it. The whole truth. I swear, I didn't hide anything from you this time. Would you hide it the first it time? It was never my wish to proceed under this cloud of mistrust either. And yet... But, like I said earlier, you can be the judge. If you want to leave because you don't trust the Fatui, there's nothing I can do to stop you. Well, Traveler, you decide. Paimon will follow your lead however you choose. I believe in the facts. <sighs> Fine. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for giving us a chance. So help me, gods. All of the gods. If you backstab me later, I will kill you off. I will kill these characters off. The current problem is that the scales are tipped pretty badly against you two. If we want to refute the Hydro Archon's accusations, we're going to need a seriously watertight defense. Actually, we already have key evidence, apparently. Huh? Let's go back. Mm. Oh, Paimon thinks she gets what you mean. And then I thought we were going to play Ace Attorney. The voice in the core chamber. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Water jet. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> Nail biting? It's not really nail Both biting. Both parties have returned to their positions. Let us continue the trial. When last we left off, Mr. Linney acknowledged the new evidence presented by Lady Farina as fact. Therefore, Lady Farina may continue stating her reconstruction of the events. Ugh, that took long enough. Now then, if everyone would lend me their attention. Oh, God. At this stage. Let's revisit that scene from Linny's perspective. Object uh, objection. Based on the opposition account of events, you can identify loopholes in their statement. There's evidence and clues obtained during the investigation to refute any erroneous assertions. Okay, now we can play the game. Support from the people the oratrice will display. Da, 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 da. Okay. As the countdown began, he entered the tunnel. Yes. When the flatbed trolley passed, he opened the box and got into an altercation with Halsey, which caused the loud thud. He did not realize that this sound could be heard by everyone in the Opera House, which is why he claimed earlier that he could not hear the sound. Mm-hmm. Finally, he used the vase to knock her out before making her change clothes to prevent others from recognizing her. Now that is a bold claim. Did you see that face? It is large. At this time, Cowell arrived in the tunnel, having heard that strange noise, and caught Linny red-handed. 
So Linny proceeded to knock him out too before stuffing him into that box. Okay. Afterward, Linny passed the unconscious Halsey to his accomplice through the magic box in the audience stands before operating the device as such that Cal's death would be ruled an accident. Mm-hmm. And there you have it. That's the truth behind what happened. All right. Can I put up the defense now? Does the defendant's side have any objections to Lady Farina's description of the events? A whole lot of them, actually. The key to refuting Lady Farina is the order of events. What Linny experienced and what he saw. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. No one left during the show. No, I'm pretty sure he did enter the tunnel. But this. According to Linny, he left via the vent after entering the tunnel. He couldn't have had that altercation with Halsey. Ha ha. Now, the loophole here. What was your claim here? Uh, okay. No, Linny was not in the tunnel. Hmm. I believe this would be... Hmm. No? Okay. I was kind of skeptical anyway. Put it here. Lenny went to the room that contains the Oratrice's core. This is the actual truth. Mm-hmm. Now, knocking that person out... That was the audible thump. Hmm. Seriously? How do we refute this one? Hang on. No one left. Hmm. The clothes? Seriously? Lenny did not take part in the underground altercation. He only witnessed traces of the aftermath. Detective Paimon has something to say! Don't call yourself that. When the countdown started, Linny did indeed go into the tunnel. Yes. I mean, that part is true. That, he, that was his job. He had to be down there. But he immediately used a vent to access the Opera House basement, which is where the underground core of the Oratrice is stored. Which is totally trespassing, so it's a completely different crime entirely, so, uh... We gotta replace one crime with another crime. Once he reached that area, he heard a voice in what should have been an empty room. Since he felt something was amiss, he returned immediately. Our defense here is actually shoddy at best. The crime scene had already developed by the time he reached the tunnel again. And in order to complete the magic trick, he did not remain there for any length of time. We kind of just... This kind of just boils down to... He did it, and us being like... No, he didn't. <laughs> Finally, he reached the surface. And that was when the accident happened from his point of view. Therefore, he's innocent! Yeah, I wouldn't believe us either. Balance has been restored. <laughs> Paimon did it! Paimon actually managed to say all that! Oh, let's 
Isn't it awesome? No. Like I said, I wouldn't believe us either. In other words, you believe that he knew nothing of the incident? That's right! I believe my opposition's reasoning is flawed. <gasps> my reasoning? The on-stage equipment was clearly tampered with in a premeditated fashion, however you say that Cowell bumped into Linny by chance. If that's the case, then if Cowell hadn't entered the tunnel, who was the entire setup meant to kill? Assuming that what you say is true, Linny only needed to kidnap the young girl to cause a new disappearance case. What would the point of killing someone on stage be? Fun. Oh. They have a point. <laughs> that's right, you tell them! And that's why they're partners of mine. They've managed to turn things around. I wouldn't believe it either. Oh, well, your denial is very strident. I'll give you that. But what proof do you have to back your claims? My proof is I made it the fuck up. Do you happen to remember how you refuted Linny's alibi initially? Of course I do. If he had been in the magic box the whole time, how could he have not heard that sound? Why do you ask? You're saying that he wasn't? Your claim has now become my weapon. Okay, so, uh... What to go on here? Hang on. Hmm. Are you sure we don't need to give this more thought? I might think there's something off here. Oh, there is. Uh, what were we talking about again? Uh. Irrelevant. A lot of these are irrelevant. Okay, so it's only these three. That's right! Lenny wasn't in the box or in the tunnel! That's why he didn't hear anything strange during the performance! This means that when the crime happened, Lenny had already entered the basement. Via the vent. How do you get in the basement the same normally? Clue you used to disprove his alibi has uh, 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 the best proof. <laughs> How do you like that? I'd like you to get out of the camera. <laughs> well played. <laughs> to think you'd use such logic. Well then, if it wasn't Linny who committed the crimes, then who was it? That's not my job. It's not my job to figure out who the murderer was. I'm just the defense. Gear icon to the interface to check the corresponding case question. Select answers and fill all the empty gears to verify the correctness of your deduction. Once you have answered all the questions correctly, you can complete this logic chain. Fireworks were released near the end of the show, ignited and burned through the rope suspended. This caused the water tank to fall and kill that poor man. Hmm. And he gave a detailed account of how the trick was supposed to work. Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Clothes belonging to Halsey. Hmm. Who's that? The deceased's name is Cowell, Lenny's assistant. Oh, right. He would have been able to tamper with the equipment. But he's dead. Halsey is the missing person and an ordinary audience member. Or... Did she have her own scheme all along? Could there have been a third person involved? Is that really a possibility? Yes. No? The deceased's name is Cowell. 
Fine, let's call it a suicide. Huh? Uh, that can't be right. Are you serious? Maybe. Suicide. Oh, is that so? How interesting. Let's hear your reasoning then. My reasoning is I made it the fuck up. What I must do next is recreate the truth. What Cowell did and how he went from would-be perpetrator to victim. This is getting more complicated. God. <laughs> oh my god. No one entered or left the Opera House through its entrances. So, where would the criminal have wanted to take Halsey? Hmm. It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. The vent is definitely relevant. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and the criminal. The deceased's name is Cowell. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the sound we heard may have come from a club. No one entered or left the op. Actually, that is probably relevant. What? It's not? You're kidding. The fact that no one left? No one entered or left the opera house. Wait, why is it still available? Uh... Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. So, there must have been some fear that she would attract attention. I don't get it. Linny was not in the tunnel at that moment. Hmm. It would have been tough for both people to fit. I still think that vent thing is relevant. Full view of the audience, pretty much guaranteeing that. What, Scott Traveler? Are you still having trouble figuring things out? Where the fuck did he go? <laughs> I see how it is. So this was all just a bluff, and here I thought you had something to show for it, but it seems you're still far from the truth. Was I supposed to lose that one? Look, since we're at a dead end, why not consider a different track? Just like the trick as it transpired, the end result must have been utterly different from the magician's initial design. What the fuck did you just say? If only we knew how Halsey disappeared. Well, that would be nice, but the tunnel only has three exits, and none of them seem very likely. And it's not like this is a magic trick where you can just make a real live person disappear. You know, like you did from that water tank, Lynette. Magic. Water tank. I know how to teleport. Could it have been water? <laughs> Excuse my interruption, dear opponents. But do you not see that the crowd is growing impatient? There is no greater sin in this opera house than an awkward delay in the performance. Shut up, I'm thinking. If the defense is unable to make further effective arguments, we will move on to the next stage of the trial. No, hold on. <laughs> Lenny was not in the tunnel at that moment, which gave our criminal ample time. Yes. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and the criminal. Yes. The deceased's name is Cowell, Lenny's assistant. Yes. The vase was not broken by chance. It was used to cover important evidence. The water. Water. Where are you going with this? Oh, I don't get it. It all comes together if Halsey disappeared instead of being kidnapped. 
Are those just the same thing? Lynette escaped from the water tank, vanishing gradually and leaving only clothes behind. If there's a similar method where a person could be transformed into water... You mean like what Mona does? <laughs> oh, just a moment, please. I do hope you know how preposterous you sound at the moment. I mean, the human body is, like, 80% water. How could a person ever be transformed into water? This is reality we're talking about here, not some magic trick. Magic is real. You shoot water out of your face. We need to examine Cal's personal effects. Must we really? Yes. I should think that of anyone. Your friend Linny already knows this truth very well. Could you just shut up and let me do this? Magic tricks are ultimately just illusions and misdirection. But Halsey's disappearance is very real. We're talking about two completely different things! You know I can shoot lightning out of my hands? Even so, I trust the Traveler's judgment. The truth must be out there somewhere. Perhaps a new line of reasoning may open if we try to gather all the focal points that don't make sense. Great, but can we do it like in front of everybody so they believe us this time? Since Cal was the deceased, we haven't placed much attention on him. But given that we aren't making much progress with the case, it wouldn't hurt to have a look at his belongings, would it? <sighs> People really do come up with all sorts of harebrained schemes when at the end of their rope. The way I see it, your suggestion that we broaden the scope of our investigation is nothing but a tactic for stalling the trial. Nevertheless, I believe that this is a reasonable request on the part of an attorney. Since the trial does indeed appear to be at an impasse, I believe that additional evidence may help us make more progress. Guards, please step into the lounge and examine the personal effects of the deceased, Cowell. I thought I was doing it. We are still examining the items, but we have already made critical progress that we feel must be shared with everyone post-haste. Oh, really? We discovered several test tubes of fluid within Cowell's baggage, each labeled separately. The notebook in his backpack claims that these fluids are... water from the Primordial Sea. The Primordial Sea? The Primordial Sea? The note's contents also indicate that Cowell belonged to an organization that sells illegal drugs and that he had an accomplice. The notebook has many entries concerning safe usage of these fluids, in which the keyword dissolve appears many times. Okay. One of these tubes was labeled Opera Epicles, along with yesterday's date. It is empty. Suspicious. The notes also state that these dissolution properties work exclusively on people from Fontaine. It's likely that Halsey was chosen as some sort of test subject. How the hell does that as work? Such, we believe that the defense's hypothesis is, in fact, supported by sufficient evidence. You've got to be kidding! people dissolving into water? Could something so ridiculous actually be true? Yes. Wait a moment. This reminds me of a certain prophecy, but it's just a coincidence, isn't it? Huh. If people can become water, does that mean that the water tank's real use was as a means to hide water stains? And if Cowell was targeting that girl... Wait just a minute. Could that mean... You two, with me, quick! Wait, what do you got? Marcel, wait! What about your partners? Mm, let's go. Just trust me. What? What do you got? What are you planning? Order! Order! <laughs> it is undeniable that further examination of the deceased's personal effects has yielded some surprising results. But we cannot yet verify the veracity of these clues. Still, let us assume that these clues are indeed authentic. Albeit with the understanding that Ms. Halsey has yet to be found. Guards, please continue examining the items along these lines. She could be dead. Mr. Linney, it appears your hypothesis is supported by the evidence. So please continue speaking. Of course. Thank you, Your Honor. If we uphold this hypothesis, I believe that many of this case's seemingly unrelated clues can be connected together. How come you're talking right. and not me? Right Hmm. Let's think about it. 
about this. Cowl's methods must have something to do with that water from the primordial sea. Well, obviously it melts people. Hmm. The water from the primordial sea should already have been prepped before Halsey entered the magic box. Now it seems like the hook rope was not meant for another magic trick, but was instead some form of triggering mechanism. To burn the rope. The rope that strung the water tank up was lit by the fireworks and cut. As such, the focus here is on the water and not the tank. So you intentionally cut the rope. Lynette was in the magic box on stage the entire time. Unlikely. I remember there was something else within the inner layer of that box. That might be relevant. What? The water isn't relevant here? The deceased's name is Cowl. Yeah, Cowl. And... Lynette was in the magic box. So it's not her. The water from the primordial... It, it was? I put the water up earlier and you didn't... Oh, fuck this game. <laughs> This fucking game sometimes. Ahem! It's Ace Detective Paimon's time to shine again! Oh no, here In we go. In the original plan, Cowl would tamper with the water tank rope and the number selector securing his target. Uh -huh. When the magic box containing Halsey was lowered, <coughs> the metal hook would retract gradually and pierce the balloon at the top of the box. When the balloon attached to the box popped, the water from the primordial seed inside it would pour down and dissolve Halsey. Afterward, Cowl would enter the tunnel and break the flower vase to conceal the water inside the tunnel, with the remaining evidence being covered up by the water tank on stage. Huh. But he encountered something unexpected in the tunnel and wound up being by the same water tank he meant to use to cover his tracks. Huh. That does make sense. It does? That actually links together a lot of the more confusing pieces of evidence. Yeah, but... <sighs> oh dear. What do I do? Even I think they sound convincing now. What, seriously? Have I falsely accused an innocent person? <sighs> What a humiliation. Sounds like you just made an now, ass out of yourself. It seems like the only point of contention remaining is the exact circumstances that led to Cal's death. A classic who His done notes it. mentioned he had an accomplice who could be related to the situation. What On that, that noise? note, the guards have just contacted me indicating that they uncovered new evidence. Really? I shall now invite him on stage to share it with us. Thank you, Your Honor. We were just inspecting the luggage of the other people involved in this case. Uh huh. And we found an identical sample of the water from the primordial sea among Linny's personal effects. W what? Okay, I gotta admit, it's not looking good, Linny. That can't be. your own counterattack only to come back and wound you. All right, hang on. That evidence could have been easily planted. Does this not clear all doubt? My dear citizens, my loyal audience, allow me to present my reasoning and bring this performance to a swift close. Okay, but can you talk quickly so you could actually bring it to a swift close? Because you talk too much, and I hate you. Linny did not need to take part in the dissolution of the young woman at all. Indeed, he did leave the scene via the vent. Okay. Having made modifications to the props beforehand, his accomplice Cowl then caused Halsey to vanish using the water from the primordial sea. But upon his return, in cruel avarice, 
Linny desired sole credit and prepared to do away with his partner in crime. Highly unlikely. Ultimately, he knocked Cowell out, and the tool meant to cover the crime up also became a murder weapon. Yeah, unlikely. Now, as much as I regret having come to such a viciously straightforward conclusion, it does seem that the famed Fatui is quite the cold-blooded and ruthless organization. I mean, I'm not arguing with you there, but... Am I right, Mr. Linny? We've used up all the evidence we collected. There's no way for us to make a rebuttal here. Is this the end of the road? Yes. We could go on the run uh, again. Using the water as new evidence was too good a move. Oh, why did this have to happen now? Why indeed did it happen now? It's awfully convenient. I think we've all seen enough now, and we have ample witnesses to my flawless reasoning. No. The water being presented among Lenny's effects now is a way too convenient. Contrived, even. I believe this is indeed the finale. Now then, my good, noble Chief Justice, should we not, in your view, move? Huh? Excuse me, everyone, but I must interject. Where have you been? Miss, I must ask you not to shout and to respect the ongoing legal proceedings. Oh, come on! Don't be hasty. I have a good reason for interrupting, you know. Now, would anyone here like to take a little break from all this debate and see a little magic? I'll show you an amazing trick. One that can bring a young woman who has disappeared back in the flesh right before your very eyes. Please, do the honors, Mr. Linny, if you would be so kind. What? What, what in the world is she saying? No offense, miss, but miracles like that are beyond my scope as a magician. You suck. <laughs> Come on now, don't be silly. Magic is all about misdirection, isn't it? It often conceals the truth while presenting a fascinating illusion. Where are you going once with this? everyone believes the illusion, can't magic reveal the truth to them once again? <clears throat> And wouldn't such a trick be the most marvelous finale to today's performance? Where are you going with this? Come on, Lenny and Lynette. Give it another go. Don't worry. Spina di Rasula has made the necessary arrangements on your behalf. But as the magic makers and stars of the show, I think I should leave the final performance to you. We're not going to count down from I 60, understand. are we? What was that? And voila! Um, uh, sorry for the interruption. Where have you been? Wait, isn't that Halsey? So the whole thing about people dissolving wasn't true after all? To be clear, I'm only here because this person told me that if I testified, the merit of doing so would lessen my sentence. I was hiding outside this room listening to the proceedings because I was afraid that I would be the one put on trial. What? I was just feeling happy that no one had noticed me. And then before I knew it, she caught me. <laughs> That'll teach you to underestimate us three. Where should I begin? <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm the one who killed Cowell. I admit it. But what Why? Yeah, why? Firstly, my name isn't Halsey. It's Lillian, and I'm originally from Mondstadt. Huh. I heard that Linny's show was going to be a real thriller, but I missed the chance to buy a ticket, so I stole one. That's how I make a living. I steal stuff here and there. And I'd never been caught before. Well, we caught you now. But I was noticed at the harbor a few days ago, and I barely got away. Lenny was the one who caught me in the act. Hey! No wonder you look familiar! So you were the thief! Huh. Lenny even mentioned that 
you were pretty skilled. Well, and I thought that would have been the end of it, but then the number selector chose me. That was weird. He even mentioned the Fortress of Meripede. That's a prison, isn't it? So you can imagine how shocked I was. I thought he was on to me for sure. So I played along with the show while looking for an opening to flee. But then I got water poured on me for no reason, and then someone jumped into the tunnel to nap me. I wasn't going to take that lying down, so I knocked him out and stuffed him into the box. There was nowhere to run from there, though, so I had to change my clothes and hide in a box containing performance costumes. Where does the whole dissolving people come into play? I slipped out after the first guard arrived at the scene and continued hiding inside the opera house. Can a person even hide in there? Also, like, we've been in here a while. Aren't you hungry at this point? But I swear, I didn't know that the water tank would fall down. Really, I swear it. Had I known that, I wouldn't have put him in the magic box. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. Well, that makes everything pretty clear now, doesn't it? Okay, but the... the tank still fell. This time, we need to tell the entire story from Lillian's perspective. Do we... oh boy, here we go. Okay, so Halsey was not dissolved, first of all. Actually, we should probably start here. Hmm. No? Okay. Hmm. The strange sound wasn't from a fight. It was Lily Ann's attempt to break out when she was frightened. Ah, uh, okay. So the infighting was probably the broken vase. The flower vase was not broken to cover anything up, but was smashed during the struggle between Lily Ann and Cowell. Not the hook there either. Lillianne was afraid that she would be recognized if she left, so she changed clothes and hid, biding her time. Just what one might expect of an experienced thief. Uh, no, an experienced thief would try to leave. It's detective time on time. Oh God, here we go again. Having been selected out of the blue, <coughs> Lillianne panicked. Her panic only intensified after she entered the tunnel and had water. So she kicked the door open, producing the thud we all heard. Hearing the commotion, Cowell leapt into the tunnel, only to discover that Lillianne had not dissolved. Okay, so there was no dissolving. He did not know that Lillianne was not from Fontaine, but was a thief who made her way in by stealing a ticket. Oh my god, that's right. She's from Mondstadt. It wouldn't work on her. So he had to resort to more violent methods. So you're telling me we still have people dissolving water? Mistakenly believing that the water from the primordial sea needed time to take effect, he tried to force Lillianne back into the box. Hmm. The two broke the flower vase during the struggle, but Lillian came out on top, knocking Cowell out and putting him in the box. Yes, we, 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 we already heard it from her. With no way of escaping, she changed her clothes and hid in the costume trunk until the performance ended. That's a really long wait. That should be enough to get her to leave us alone. We even have a confession from her. She knew that she would have to go through guard inspection if she tried to leave afterward. So, she has been trapped in the opera house these last two days. Uh, dude, uh, dude. 
Ma'am, are you malnourished? Are you, are you hungry? Do you need anything? She had already become desperately hungry by the time we were chatting over macarons. So, she swiped two of them right under our noses. Talk about a sneaky thief. Okay. So yeah, she is hungry. Can someone please get her a sandwich? At this point, all the events that happened in the tunnel have now come to light. Maybe some water? Ah, so that's the whole story. Bravo! Bravo! Now then, Lady Farina, do you wish to speak against the defense's statements? Please say no. I... Uh, um... I don't think she's got anything. Please answer the question, Lady Farina. Also, if I may add, the trial has not yet ended. As such, I request that the prosecution not leave the room before the proceedings have concluded. Are you trying to leave? <sighs> what? Are you reading my mind now? <sighs> no. I have no further arguments. I admit defeat. Thank God. But really, could you at least have left me with some dignity? No. Fuck wow. you. <laughs> Look at that. She's like a deflated balloon now. I like seeing her if like this. If there are this. no objections, then as the Chief Justice of Fontaine, I shall once again repeat the full sequence of events. Again? The actual perpetrator of the serial disappearances, Cowell, selected his next victim from the audience reservation list. With some modifications to the selector, he could ensure that the pre-selected young woman would be chosen. To cover up any evidence while committing the deed, Cowell thought of allowing the water tank to fall, which would conceal the water left behind after the young woman was dissolved. Mm -hmm. He also tampered with the rope suspending the water tank, using the fireworks at the end of the performance to cause the tank to drop uh -huh. and hide the watermarks. He poured the water from the primordial sea into a balloon during the preparation of the magic box and stuck it to the box's lid. Finally, he passed the prepared hook on a rope through the gap in the magic box's door when bringing the young woman to said box. When the magic trick officially began, the box containing the woman was lowered into the tunnel, tightening the hook rope and bursting the balloon containing the water. If all okay. had gone to plan, the young woman would be dissolved at this time. However, Lillian was not from Fontaine, and thus fled the box with a loud noise. Realizing that there was trouble, Cowell entered the tunnel and met Lillian. Thinking that the waters had not yet taken effect, he decided to proceed. However, his opponent was more capable than he thought, and he was overcome, knocked unconscious, and placed into the magic box, and thus became his own final victim. That'll confuse Lillian, a lot of people upstairs. Then changed clothes and hid until the performance ended, before hiding in other parts of the opera house. As for Linny, he was in the underground structures within the opera house, and was thus ignorant of these happenings. Which is another crime From entirely. From this reconstruction of events, we can conclude that Linny, the accused, is in fact innocent. Yeah, that was kind of While a roller coaster. There is much in Linny and Lillian's conduct that should still be investigated separately. I was about to say. This case, at least, can be handed over to the Oratrix to make the final decision. Oh God, why does it look like the? <laughs> it looks like like me trying to do gotcha pulls in Hunkai Star Rail. As such, Linny and Lynette are officially declared not guilty. <laughs> Victory for Ace Detective Kaiman! Cool, now take that Great mustache work, off. Partners. Thank you all. Thank you so much. <sighs> that took forever. Next, I think we deserve an explanation, Guard Vaughn. What? How did you find the water from the primordial sea in Linny's baggage? Uh, right! Your discovery caused me to make a serious mistake, you know! Or was that not a discovery, but false evidence that you dare to bring before this court? I literally said that, and... Oh boy. I suspect that the accomplice mentioned in Cowell's notes was not Linny, but you, yes? I... 
Uh, run. I'm sure you know what you must do to lessen your sentence. Speak quickly! Unless you want to earn yourself a one-way ticket to Coupon Town. Where's Coupon Town? I, Sounds I fun. was just following orders. We were supposed to place blame for the serial disappearances onto Linny, and thus cause suspicion to fall on the Fatui. The higher-up said this was the best opportunity to do so. A good plan. Believable. You almost had me convinced, honestly. It almost worked. This was a fucking roller coaster, though. God, this case was complicated. And now that your plan has fallen through, and the secrets of the water have been revealed, you have become a liability to said higher-ups, yes? Probably. Therefore, you would be wise to tell everything you know, and seek the protection of the guards. Yes! I'll tell you everything I know! Our boss discovered that the water can cause people to dissolve. It can also be made into a potion, which, when extremely diluted, can cause people to experience unforgettable exhilaration. Drugs. We've been in this business for a while now, and have made decent more off it. The disappearances were also the boss's idea. I mean, this is the boss we're talking about. The... Oh, dear God. Huh. What? Okay. So the boss has insurance. Good to know. And now he can no longer talk. That was horrifying. Such ruthlessness. I shouldn't have expected any less of them. Who's them? An outrageous act. All present, please submit to inspection immediately. Here we go again. Oh. But we found nothing. So, we're just going back now? Yes. That's true, but... Traveler, Paimon, please wait. No, please, I haven't seen the sun in months. Lenny. I know you may not want to speak to me right now. Maybe you don't even want to look at me. But still, let me thank you again for defending me to the end. Even after you learned that I'm a member of the Fatui. Right, kind of forgot about that. The Fatui have been fucking with us since day one. I mean, you didn't do it. I guess. But regardless, I'd like the opportunity to set things straight. I didn't approach you with any ulterior motives or ill intent. I've spoken to you as myself, just plain Linny this entire time. As for why I'm a Fatus, it's because the goals of the House of the Hearth align with those of an orphan like me. That's all. That was how Father, who you might know as the Knave, approached recruiting us back then, too. Mm -hmm. The Knave? The one who controls the House of the Hearth? She's your father? That doesn't make any sense. Is it a he or a she? That's right. And since we're here, I was wondering... Would you mind hearing a story? It's about my past. Oh, for the love of God, Lenny, let's do it next week. Yay!